Hey Taurus, it's Omana Little Mama. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for the mid months of November 2020. Y'all know the deal, check your house placements. If this is not your story, it may not be for you. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to take one, so I'm gonna take this one that's from the bottom. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Mm. This is like page energy, right? So there's something that's going on, my Tauruses. Either somebody's not accepting you because you have children or maybe there's a need for you to have balance back in your life and focus on what's more important to you and it might be an issue for somebody but we have candle you will be shown the way so there's some going to be some messages that you need to think about some you could be manifesting could be doing candle work right now and probably want to see some changes because we have valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So if you're doing the work and you're going within, you're going to find some clarity. Could be dealing with the Virgo. It's like more like the hermit energy that I see. We have not unsuccessful plans. Mm. So there might be a need for you to go back to the drawing board and figure out whatever it is that's triggering you. I mean, you could be tied or corded towards somebody. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. That's what I'm seeing. We have cat, a two-faced friend. Uh, so you got to be careful who's within your environment, Taurus, and somebody who you may think is being honest towards you. They're not, and I think you know this. So let's dig in. Let's see what's going on with my Tauruses. We have the Ten of Swords, Air Energy. We have the Ten of Cups. Now, you know, two tens is an ending. So it could be a reason why that you're moving forward towards something because of something that you saw. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. That's Gemini. And we have Taurus mm, with the Hierophant. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. Okay, so that's, that's fire energy. So I see a lot of things that's going on with you guys, my Tauruses. A lot of things that you need to think about. There's some decisions you need to make regarding any kind of situation, whether it may it be a person, place, or a thing. And um, I see Pisces on the board, Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus, and also an Aries. So, my Tauruses, this is going to be about you. There was some kind of ending, right? Something that had you maybe distraught. Or maybe somebody had said something to you because we do have a two-faced friend, okay? I don't know if you are dealing with a Gemini, but whoever this person is, somebody hurt you. And it was to a point where you had to end that chapter in your life and move forward. Because with the Ten of Cups, that's Piscean energy, or you're probably dealing with another water sign. Whatever the situation was, something ended in your life, and now you're just moving forward towards a new beginning. And you want stability. You might be reconnecting with maybe somebody from the past because we do have children, okay? Where it says your love life is being affected by children. So maybe there was some kind of dispute with you and maybe somebody that you're dealing with. And maybe something had ended regarding that situation. And maybe there's a need to reconnect. Or are you just moving forward for better temperament for you and whoever is around you? Because we do have children here too. But with this Eight of Swords, right, there was something that either you were in your head about a situation or another air sign. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But whoever this person is, somebody is in their head because they're missing reconnecting with you. Or is it you that had something good with a family and maybe there was a breakup and you're, somebody's deeply reflecting regarding the situation. Mind you, this could be vice versa. But with this Four of Pentacles, right, Somebody doesn't want to let you go. Or does it have to do with money? I don't know if you're dealing with the Aries, Sag, or a Leo, but it's heavy Aries. There was some kind of an ending, and maybe somebody doesn't want to let you go. And somebody's probably reflecting on what they had that was good with you, Taurus. And now they're in their head. Or is it you? But with the lovers, right? You could be dealing with Gemini. Somebody had a deep soul bond connection with somebody. Either you had a relationship with somebody that was deep or it could have been vice versa there was a decision somebody had to wear their head over hearts regarding between two lovers 
or maybe it had to do with work. And there's something that somebody did not want to let go. And Taurus, I think you know this, wasn't a marriage because we have the lovers and the, and the hair font here, which is you. Or are you just in the mindset, well, now, whatever had ended, you're moving forward towards better. And you realize that maybe you're going back to your structural ways. And maybe there's a need for some kind of reconciliation or a mediation regarding the situation. But somebody's in their head about the situation. And with the source, there's a lot of communication that was very harsh regarding the situation. Because it jumped from the 10 to the 8. The only one thing that's missing is the 9. So was there a situation between a happy home, which broke up the situation? But you're going to get some kind of clarity regarding the situation because we have candle. You will be shown the way. But with this knot, it's an successful plan. So did you tie the knot with somebody if it had to do with the marriage or if it had to do with a relationship and it ended because it was so stressful where you no longer want to be mentally imprisoned in your mind because you can actually get out if you really think about it. And with the valley, a deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So do you cut something off from the past that no longer serves you and now you're just going back to your peace? And maybe you're going to a counselor, a mediator, somebody where there's a need to have some kind of a situation be spoken of. Because as I said, we have swords here. Okay. And now you're just at a point where you're feeling that you need to move on and wait for a better opportunity. You're waiting for something to come in. Even though we have the devil here, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Something was toxic. And there was some codependency regarding the situation. And if it had to do with a the marriage, there was something that was going on that was not in one's favor. Because we have court here with justice. There was a need for some kind of balance. And somebody is regretting the situation or were you hurt? And it was so painful that you had to leave the situation for the better. Better temperament for you, better temperament for the other person. It's something to think about. It's a deep reading, of course. And this is a message for a couple of people. Mind you, this may not apply to you, but it's for a couple of Tauruses out there that needed to hear this message. So we have meditate and contemplate. Yeah. So there's a need for healing. There's a need to go back to the drawing board. Take care of you. There's a lot of things that's going on with you Tauruses, some of you, and there's a need for clarity and to focus back on you. I don't know if you're dealing with Pisces because we have two fish here too. What else do they need to know? We have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. Yeah, you're very gifted and you know your worth. Whatever situation that you have may, may went through, there's probably a need for you to do some more shadow work regarding the situation and focus, focus back on you. You are lovable. You are loved. And whatever issues that you're going through or a situation, there's a need for you to deeply go within and go back to focusing back on you. If there's something that you need to work on or whoever you're dealing with needs to work on, there's a need for healing too. Okay, so we have the next steps. Daily steps towards your dreams, manageable goals, mentorship doors, opening success. This is you. You could be mentoring people. You're probably going to someone for truth and clarity regarding the situation, and there's a need for healing. But you're waiting for a better opportunity because you realize something was toxic, or you could have been quartered with somebody, and there were some addictions because we have the lovers and also with the devil here, and you just want balance back in your life regarding the situation. You may have been hurt and regretting a situation. You're probably missing a soulmate. And if there was a third party, that's no more. And now it's time for you to go back to meditate, contemplate, and build yourself back up. It could be with a soulmate, somebody that you have a deep love for. But somebody wants to communicate a message with you. They probably possibly want to reconcile with you or at least have some kind of common ground with some peace. This is you, Taurus. Okay. But you're going through some changes right now, and you're doing the shadow work, and you're evolving now. And it's a need for you to go back to ground yourself, to meditate, okay? But once you do the work, just know that you are loved, because you will have a new opportunity with the key of love and a key of stability. And there's something that you know. Strong sense could be very important to you right now. You could be smelling some perfume or 
something where your abilities are in heightening, okay? And pay attention to your chakras, okay? And with yellow, that's very important because there's a need for you to ground yourself, to go back to the drawing board, and know exactly what it is that you need to work on. Because there may be some blockages regarding the situation. But just know, you definitely have luck on your side. So whatever changes that you are going through in your life right now, there's a reason for everything. A reason for a season, a place, and time. But you're going to get some kind of message in December about whatever it is that you are working on to manifest. And we have August. So either something significant had occurred back in August of last year, or something will change for the better of August of next year for 2021. So that's what I have for you, my Tauruses. Please like, share, and subscribe to the videos. Taurus, you guys are going to be just fine. There may have been some trials and tribulations that you have went through. But at the end of the day, just remember, you are loved. And if you're seeking a new soulmate and to begin a different new chapter on your journey, it always starts with you. Take care.